I'm gonna try and keep this one short and sweet, but knowing me, that's never gonna happen, so <laughs> I apologise in advance. What I'm gonna be blabbing on about today is dog training, and more specifically, is dog training cruel? Right, this is slightly different to one of my usual yay 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 everything is awesome kind of videos because uh, I have to tell you about the way I feel about what I'm gonna talk about and I know other people feel the same way and it's kind of grinding us down because I'm sure we've all seen comments on videos or had comments on our own videos saying oh my gosh you made your dog do a trick that is so mean and I'm just trying to debunk this because it's not true. Dog training is not cruel. Let's just get that out in the air, out in the open immediately. Dog training is not cruel. My dogs aren't robots, they're not circus performers. They don't just do tricks to entertain me and other people. They do it because they love it and I train them because they enjoy it and it keeps them doing stuff. It's far less kind to keep a dog in a room on its own all day doing nothing. Uh, imagine if you're stuck on your own all day doing nothing, you'll get so bored. And imagine if you had the choice of doing nothing all day or doing a little bit of work and getting awesome treats for it and you're mentally stimulated, you know, I know which one I'd choose. So if you're one of the people that leaves comments, such as death threats, yes I've had that before, lovely, or comments Ooh. saying that I'm a horrible person, I am a bully to my dogs, um, that I abuse my dogs, that kind of thing, that's simply not true. If they don't want to do it, they wouldn't do it. The door's open, they're off their lead, if they don't want to do something, they can just walk away and believe me, these guys are terriers and if they don't want to do something, they will walk away. It sometimes takes many, 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 many takes to get a good clip because if they're not in the mood, they're not going to do it. If you're somebody that gets comments saying that you're a bad person, that kind of thing, just ignore them, alright? Because the person that's saying this, they obviously don't have a clue. Uh, it's not their fault, it's just them being naive. They've obviously never seen a dog being positively trained. They've never seen a positively trained dog doing tricks because they love it and it's obvious they love it from all their body language, from their enthusiasm, from their drive. They absolutely love it. And actually, with my dogs, um, people saying that I should give them a break, <laughs> I give them breaks, but they don't want breaks. <laughs> I give them breaks so that they're more rested and more enthusiastic but to be honest I'm not going to overwork them but if they could they'd definitely overwork me. I'm the one who gets tired before them, I'm the one who gets more frustrated than them, I'm the one that needs to take time out not them, they love it. If you want to see what real abuse looks like take a look at the dog that I kind of worked a bit with in Thailand that was just kicked and kicked and it would have been kicked to death if it wasn't rescued for no reason except for the, the people that had it just felt like kicking it. Puppy farmers, they're abusive, right? People that use um, dominance methods on their dogs and roll their dogs over and growl in their face and kick them and everything, that is abusive. Don't target us. If you want to target someone, fuel your negativity towards real abuse, not people that love their dogs. So please tell me, does this dog look like she's abused? Twist. <coughs> Twizzle. <coughs> And does this dog look like she's abused? Spin. 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 Very spin. Spin. Very spin. <laughs> now, does this dog look like she's abused? <laughs> yes, she does, because that is what real abuse looks like. Not training your dogs to do fun tricks. I can't fault you for asking if the dog really wants to do it, because some things dogs don't want to do. So. It's good if you're thinking about the dog and thinking, hmm, maybe the dog doesn't want to do this. That's cool, I don't mind people asking. But if you're telling me that my dog doesn't want to do it, I know my dog better than you do, and I know when my dog wants to do something or not. And there are times when they don't want to do something, and I will definitely know that because they won't do it. Full stop. Because there's a difference between actually caring about the dogs and being naive or pedantic or just plain rude or jealous you know so if you actually care about the dogs fair enough I really really do not mind going through the techniques that I've used which are positive by the way um, however if you're horrible 
I really just can't be bothered. I can't be doing with it. Sorry that this is a bit of a rant, but it just, I had to say it because I'm so tired of typing it every time. All right. Every time someone comments saying, you're mean, you're horrible, your dogs are robots, they don't want to do this. I don't, I don't want to have to explain it every single time, so this is why I made this video. Hazel wants to do some tricks right now. So I'm going to stop. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And please, please, dear people, share this with as many negative bums as you can. Because we have to get this message out. We're awesome. Our dogs are awesome. Love everywhere. No meanness. Thank you very much. Goodbye.